not about exhibitionism or showing off. It's just a, a freedom to feel good in my skin. say belly dance but actually that's a western terminology okay. so in the Middle East it's called Raks al Shaaki which means dance of the East oriental dance and um, belly dance or oriental dance as a woman gives me a lot more freedom to express myself you don't have to be a certain type of woman or have a certain type of body to perform this dance to enter, for instance, a more traditional uh, career in ballet, for instance, a lot of people don't fit in or are rejected because they don't have the right turnout, their feet are not right, etc., etc. Whereas um, belly dance is for all women, and that's something that I find really inspiring. Yeah, growing up, I, I danced a lot, I did a lot of ballet, and I remember hitting puberty. We were wearing like leotards and I remember being so self-conscious that I had hips, etc. and it was painful. And from then on I really developed a, a feeling of shame of my body and you know I would wear baggy clothes and I would cover myself up more and I, I didn't feel so free in my body. So just coming to a dance class um, there's so much to think about, you know, the steps, your arms, your hips, the music, the rhythms, the direction, etc. So it sounds a bit, you know, you're so concentrated on all of these elements that you don't have time to feel bad about, oh, how do I look, or, you know, oh, my stomach's hanging out, or, you know, my arms are flabby, or whatever. <laughs> Other things we may think about when we're in a changing room. <laughs> looking at ourselves in the mirror. But yeah, I just through the movement, the music, uh, concentrating on other things, you know, I somehow lost this inhibition in my body and it, through what I've observed, I see the impact that the, this dance form has on women. We have three studios, we have around 300 women um, taking part in our courses just makes it